This is the secret of large phone companies, a code that when you dial it, gives you free 4G network forever. Let's check it out. To build our 4G device and be able to have free and unlimited internet on our mobile phone, we will need the following elements. First, of course, we will need a mobile phone, then a cable of approximately 28 centimeters, and another piece of cable, the charging cable for our mobile phone, which also transmits data and also a magnet, has a diameter of approximately 50 millimeters. Also, of course, a SIM, nano SIM, or micro SIM card. It must be a mobile phone capable of supporting the 4G network. Now, you will see that the Wi-Fi is not enabled, okay? We have no data on this SIM card, and there is no connection. First of all, we will need to strip the ends of this wire. We will also strip the ends of this cable. The next thing, of all this cable, we only need the part from the connector to the mobile. So we eliminate this part, and we must also peel it. We cut the excess as the remains that it has inside, and we will also strip the ends of the cable one. We will roll the ends well and continue with the next step. Now we're going to put this here, and we're going to start putting a little bit of tin on the end of the wires. Very good. Now we will take our nanosim card in this position with the cut and we will stick it on the magnet, what is going to form as an amplifier for this card to receive the 4G network. We will put a little hot glue and we will glue the card. We remove the remains of glue and verify that it has been well attached. This magnet is a neodymium magnet and it must have this hole in the center. The magnet is four millimeters thick. The north pole of the magnet's magnetic field is located on this face. Therefore, the card will be stuck on the face of the north pole of the magnet's magnetic field. The next thing we will do is wrap this cable around the magnet in the following way. First, this goes like this and we turn from back to front. Two turns tight, and three turns, okay? We put it like this, and now we will proceed to solder the cables on the SIM card. Well, I am going to apply a stripper gel that will make the weld apply correctly. And now we solder with a little tin like this. We will solder this cable here. Perfect. And we will weld this one down here so it would look like this. Now to make it look better, we will finish the work a little and it will be more beautiful. The next thing we will do is take the data transmission and USB charging cable and we will pass the cable through this little hole. We passed it through here, like this. Roughly like this. And we solder these wires. The black wire goes here, and the red wire goes here, staying this way. Finally, we have to solder this cable, which only makes us a bridge between this point and this other point. So the device would look like this. We have to be very careful that the solders do not join each of the pins. In this one down here, because this pin and this one were attached underneath, so it doesn't matter. Well, let's review. We make three turns. One wire goes to the east pin on the top right, and the other on the bottom left. Then we put the red cable from the USB connector to the mobile. The black cable on the left center pin and the red cable on the lower right pin. And finally we make a bridge with a cable between the upper left pin and the central right pin. In this way, we would already have our 4E receiver connecting. Now with a hot glue gun we put glue all over so that the cables do not join. So, and so we also give it a little more robustness. Another little bit around here and at the back we will put another little bit here to give the cable strength. Once the glue has cooled, we remove the excess, everything that is left over, and we have this. This system with the magnet, what it does is amplify the signal, and the 4G card will now give us the forage signal on the mobile. Now to give our 4 receiver device a little more robustness, what we are going to do is wrap this with electrical tape. 
In this way, it will be much more compact and much less fragile. Very well as we can see, our 4G module is very well compacted with the insulating tape. This way we will prevent any wire from being unsoldered, okay? Here we have our USB connector that will go to the USB socket of our mobile phone. We're going to try it. We have the cell phone here, okay? We click there on the YouTube icon. There is still no internet. Retry. No internet, fine. We connect the 4G receiver module, but it still won't work. It still won't work. You see, there is no internet. Now this is the most important thing. It is where the secret of the companies comes, which is a code that must be marked. With that secret code, we will enable our 4 e receiver. The secret code is as follows. Asterisk, asterisk 1582237, one hash, and then look, I'm going to put my finger resting on the key to turn off the phone, because as soon as I give the call, I have to turn off the phone quickly. Let's go there. If you don't do it like that, it won't work. One, two, and three. And shut down and reboot. Perfect. Let's see. Very good. Now we wait a little while. And as we can see, the 4G icon has appeared here. That's great. 4G. Okay. Now in theory. Yes, thanks to this device, we already have a 4G mobile network. We're going to try it. Let's see the crazy channel. Here's our channel. That's great. Here we have another very interesting video free infinite energy. The spinner at full speed. We entered this video, for example. Oh, and here it is. Perfect. We have totally free internet. Now we enter here in Google Chrome. the crazy channel, we search, we get here. Wow, this is incredible. The best kept secret of all phone companies. With a SIM card, a magnet, and a few bits of cable, this is super simple. Nothing, friends, if you like the video, share, subscribe, and give it a like. We deserve it. Until the next video, I hope you liked it. Thanks, friends, and until next time.